upload that data and while the bar graphs look at similar height, they obviously apportion differently and okay, that's what went to the taste room. Uh, Darling Brew undertook a number of initiatives and is so on an ongoing basis to reduce their consumption on the premises. Yet that still doesn't mean that there is no consumption experience here. We still have to purchase paraffin for the boiler. We still have to purchase electricity for the production process, for the brewing process. And uh, that remaining impact is quantified through a greenhouse gas audit um, following a set protocol and is then calculated into equivalent of carbon dioxide uh, and offset through a credible, verified, um, authenticated um, carbon offsetting project, in our case, Kariba Red in, in Zimbabwe. I mean, we will see definitely uh, more companies going that way because also consumers are becoming more uh, critical in their, in their purchases uh, uh, that they make. And, um, you know, this is, this is definitely the, the, the trend. And um, it's still, in, in South Africa, this is still quite a, a, new, um, a new thing. Uh, I mean, overseas in Europe and the States, it's, it's much more common to have uh, carbon neutral products, fair trade products, etc. Um, but we're definitely seeing this picking up in, in South Africa. And um, so it's really, really fantastic to see. And what's also great to see is that the processes they followed were, were certainly um, of, the, of, the, of the correct nature. Dolig's not the only brewery that's taking green measures in, in, the, in the brewery, um, but they're probably the, 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 the trailblazers, you know, they're sort of leading the, leading the pack now. There are a few of the other larger breweries that they, I mean, obviously it's, it's partly about saving the environment, but so, some of the measures are also about saving money for the brewery. So some of the larger breweries are more inclined to do that because, you know, they've got more money to save. It's a win-win for not just the brewery and the environment in terms of marketing thing. To a great extent, a lot of the measures that you put in place to reduce your carbon impact by putting up solar panels, which for us is a long-term goal, um, installing our own water supply, that economically starts making sense. The payback is intermediate, it might be five to ten years. But in the long run, you're paying less for your water, you're paying less for your energy, you're putting out less solid waste, you're paying less for waste removal. So it generally just makes economic sense as well. I think our contribution to being carbon neutral and reducing our energy footprint as well as our water footprint will hopefully um, lead to people changing their habits. And I think um, when people pick up a beer that is carbon neutral, 
maybe people can start connecting the dots and and change their consumption habits um, to more environmentally friendly products. To know that they are going the extra mile, um, you know, that's something I can really be proud of uh, as, a, as a local, as a South African. And yeah, I think that it's fantastic that they've taken the lead in this type of initiative and, and something that we'll see um, far more of globally, I, I hope.